So with everything now hooked up, uh, we should be about really all set to go. Uh, there is one more thing, however, that I do have to add. Uh, but before I get to that, let me just do a very quick review. So again, the LCD cable uh, goes into the back of the iMac, also the inverter as well. Those cables come down through the neck, and they're going to give off, of course, a couple different wires. One, we have our black wire. The black wire gives off our four triplets. Uh, the triplets uh, plug in uh, to their corresponding DVI. Uh, also, we do have a second cable that does go to the DVI. Of course, this being um, our uh, gray LCD cable. And following that along, the gray LCD cable is going to have um, uh, three wires that come out and go to a ground, which is connected to our black mollux ground. It's going to have three wires uh, that come out uh, and also go to um, the uh, 5 volt power source, uh, also on the Molex. We're also uh, going to have a black and white wire. Uh, these correspond uh, to the clock and the data. And we're also going to have um, a red wire or a hot pink wire which comes through. And this is again the intended VEDID uh, which should plug in uh, to uh, pin number 14. However, we did need to splice this in order to give uh, power to the hot plug, uh, hot plug detect, which is pin number 16. How we did that was that we took, uh, the, we took a green wire, we plugged that into our pin, uh, number 14, and then we took that green wire and we split it. Uh, it continued also to the red hot pink wire and went up to the LCD as intended. However, it also then split and continued on as a black wire. Uh, this black wire then hooked into a resistor, and the resistor then went into uh, this blue wire, and the blue wire, with the power through the resistor, continued on to pin number 16, the hot plug detect on our DVI. Then we also did add just one more, uh, and then one additional one was pin number 15, which was the gray wire. Uh, which continued also uh, as one of our grounds. So, what's the one more thing? Well, unfortunately, right now, the backlights and the LCD don't work together. When I say that is, there is actually no connection between uh, the signal and the backlight. So there's no way for the computer to tell the backlights when to turn on. One way to do that uh, is to use the 5 volts that does come in through the DVI uh, via pin number 14 that we're already using uh, for pin number 16 uh, through the resistor and also as it's intended through the VEDID going up to the LCD. So if we look at our inverter cable here and again we have a ground we have uh, the green which is connected to 5 volts through, this, uh, through a resistor we have the blue uh, which is connected to 12 volts and we have the red which right now is connected to 5 volts so what the best thing to do is to disconnect the red without the red there will be no uh, no uh, power to the backlights the backlights will stay dark I take this and instead I'm gonna get the power from pin number 14 so this is essentially gonna split pin number 14 again and just for convenience, instead of, I obviously can't fit this, you know, in that very crowded area. Um, it's already split once here. Instead, I'm going to just put this right here. Now, keep in mind, I am doing this before it gets, goes through the resistor. So this is, uh, this is just 5 volts. So it is not 5 volts via resistor. And then, so it essentially is making this a three-way split. So what's going to happen is pin 14 comes in, goes to the green wire splits into the red wire, and then continues on as a black wire, splits again, one side going to a resistor, which is going to the blue wire, back to pin 16, and now it's also going to this alligator wire, and it will continue on, and it goes there, and it goes to our red wire here. Okay, so now we should have 5 volts, which is given via the DVI connector itself. 
Again, why is this important? Because now, when the computer decides to send an image to the LCD, the backlights will turn on at the same time. So it'll look unified. We won't have to control the backlights independently. And it'll all be when the computer does not send a signal or it goes to sleep, the backlights will turn off. When the computer does send a signal, the backlights will turn on. So let's test it. First, we have to turn the power on. So I'm just going to flip this on so the green uh, is shown. And then I go to my Mac Mini. And I'm going to press power. And there we are. So, um, again, I'm sorry about the lighting, uh, but, um, you know, here is our, um, our signal to our LCD, and it looks, so far, um, backlights are nice and bright, it looks crystal clear, and, um, again, all this really took, um, maybe, you know, a, a couple hours, so, um, I thank everyone for, uh, for taking the time to watch. Uh, I'd be happy to answer any questions the best I can. Uh, for those of you that don't get a signal, uh, I just say, uh, you know, check everything. Um, you know, keep, uh, you know, check and make sure the pins are pushed down properly. Make sure that nothing's touching another wire next to it. Um, and those are usually the major mistakes. But uh, again, thank you for taking the time to watch. And if you need any uh, more advice or you want to see some of my other projects, uh, please go to uh, Dremel Junkie, which is www.dremeljunkie.com. And um, hopefully uh, you'll find some uh, uh, similar projects uh, there that you'll also find useful. Thanks again.